How's it going, guys? I'm Phil Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. And I figured let's go save Princess Peach now, I guess. Uh, here is the entrance to World 2, and then kind of right next to it is the entrance to World 4. So let's jump across this little area here. And it's kind of a weird Bowser-looking sub. Once we get close, we get some story. Again, it's very weird how much how much story cinematics there are in this game. But yeah, there you go. Peach just jump in the water. <laughs> It's so, it's so weird, it's, first of all, it's odd to see a, a villain that's not Bowser, even though there is a Bowser sub here, and this next boss is basically based, like, it's basically Bowser. <laughs> yeah, super secret hideout in this giant amusement park. Anyways, jump into the cannon, because apparently the cannon is the only way to get to the amusement park. The Fido Island is really, really weird. <laughs> Yeah, level four, Peanut Park. It's a really interesting one. Mecha Bowser appears. So yeah, Bowser, I guess, even though it's not Bowser. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. This is a cool level. Uh, it's basically two little areas. This small area right here, a little beach next to it. And you can see everything over there. We got shot from way over there. And then there's the uh, the park itself up here. I do like how they kind of cut it up like that. It's actually a, like considered a separate area. You can just see Shadow Mario right there, but... Yeah, whole little area. We're not going to follow Shadow Mario. We're just going to let him run away. And the fun music's going to start. Yeah. Love this music. Just really, I don't know. Fun little piano music. It's just cute. Okay, I want you to shoot the shell and jump on you. There we go. It's a weird idea for, a, a, like, electric Koopa Troopas. They look like weird Koopa Troopas, too. Like, they, they have really low polygon counts. Like... We'll probably see another one, but yeah, they look really odd in my opinion. Like, look at this. Super weird looking. But yeah, down he goes. Uh, let's see if I can make this. Probably not. Okay, it's way over there. Not gonna do well. <laughs> eh. You can do it, Mario. No, not in the water. Oh, 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 I made it. Yeah! Now can I make it back? Because I'm pretty sure that's harder. You can hear the Shadow Mario music. Because he's right there. You can actually can't see him, but he runs to this, uh... This... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> this, uh, like, little pool there. But we're going to ignore that for now. Let's see if I can make this. Uh, let's get to a better spot. Oh, is he right there? He's, like, actually, uh... On the opposite side of that wall, I think. Alright, let's try to make this. I just don't want to... Go in the water, because it's slower. Oh, 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 good, 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 good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Okay, cool. All right, let's go find Shadow Mario. <laughs> you got a boogie. You look like a, like a funky, like, Pianta uh, Deku tree. <laughs> if, like, there's a tropical Zelda game. That's what you look like. I like that a lot. Also, what's this? Well, I know what it is, but where, where is this going to be? This one I don't know. Oh, you're like way up there. Where is that? That's way up. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that right now. Maybe we'll find like the 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 hose thingy that I need. Oh, there's Shadow Mario over there. But you could fly and hover too. Jeez, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pretty sure that pool wasn't as deep as it's gonna make us think now, but. Oh, it opens up. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty good water effects, too, for back then. And there we go. It is... Mega Bowser! This is a very weird boss fight, but I do like it. Like a flood like I can't see. Holy nuts. Well, then. If it's not Bowser, that's uh, someone with a lot of money to make it look like it's Bowser. Dr. Wily, is it you? Creepy looking Mario. Shadow Mario, I guess. We have long cinematic for this. Oh, very realistic fire. That looks <laughs> really cool. All right. So uh, this guy immediately is just like, amazing. What a spectacle. Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great. Whoever hired you needs a raise. I love how you play the fearless hero. And he's like a bad version of you, but you both look like the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want you to, I want to ensure your success. So how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me! 
And so he thinks it's fake, which I think is cute. But he does give you real rockets, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, you get rockets on this uh, really fun roller coaster, and you gotta defeat Mega Bowser. It's cute. I like it. Also, that's a GameCube port. Uh, on his uh, on his chest where he's fire. I'm not gonna shoot this. Is, I'm so bad at aiming. Well, might as well kill the uh, bullet that was following me. Uh, yeah, the uh, the missile launcher thing on uh, Mecha Bowser is clearly the uh, the uh, GameCube controller port, which is really cool. And where are you? There you go. Oh, that missed completely. Did it? Nah, damn it. But I did avoid getting hit. You can just shoot the bullet bills with your with your water cannon, but like that, for example. Once you get a missile, shoot it at Bowser. Oh, or you know, you could actually try to actually hit him. This is gonna go really badly, isn't it? Okay, that hit him. There we go. It doesn't. It doesn't even need to be like at the face or anything. So just hit when you can, and get the fire out of the way. Uh, and it, it's not a very long roller coaster. I guess it's about as long as a roller coaster kind of is nowadays. Oh, these are so damn short. But can I hit you from here? Will that hit? Let's try. Will that hit? Oh, that hit. Nice. Oh, that was good. Keep getting those um, missiles as they appear. Ah, damn it. Oh, well, got hit there. You get eight hits, so it's not too, too bad, so... All right, where are you, Bowser? No! Stop twirling. Ugh, wait a sec. Oh, that... Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that did not hit. Oh, he's right there, though. There we go. And he keeps, like, he keeps knocking parts off of him, which is really cute. I, I like that a lot. Ooh, I'm getting hit like crazy. That's okay, he's, like, almost dead. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. So, pretty easy. Pretty easy. And yet another cinematic. So much story. Are we finally gonna get the truth here? Mario! Run away, Peach. Oh. And there we go! The introduction to Bowser Jr. I can't believe he's 21 years old now. He can legally drink in America. <laughs> I mean, you, you're not denying it, Peach. She should have said, you think I'm your mama? There you go. I mean, how's the graffiti before they got to the island gonna rescue whatever? Nintendo's not the greatest when it comes to uh, making actual story for their Mario games, but whatever. Damn you, Egad. It's like... Stupidly simple and dumb, and yet at the same time convoluted and stupid and dumb. But it introduces Bowser Jr., who I've actually grown to like a lot in the recent years. I, I really did like Bowser Jr. when they introduced like, this game. I was like, he's lazy. What happened to... Whoa. What happened to the other Bowser kids, like the Koopalings? And then they retconned it, I guess, in Japan. Uh, in Japan, he's they're not Bowser's kids? I don't know. All I know is that... All I know is that Mario games are usually better with it when there's not an outstandingly big story. And that's pretty much all the story, really. Um, this is the fourth level. Corona Mountain's the last level, the eighth level. Um, it, it's only really got, like, one star in it. Um, and, and that's that's it, pretty much. So this is, like, the most story you're going to see all at once. So I figured we'd get it out of the way. It'd be a long shine. I mean, that was, like, nine minutes just for one shine. But that's okay. That's okay. But Princess Peach is now kind of kidnapped for good. I mean, I guess that's her lot in life in most of the Mario games. But we can just jump right back in there. Or we can just jump right back in there. Or we can just jump right back in there. Go right back to Peanut Park. Get the next shine. Because now it kind of continues like it normally does. Where you have to get a bunch of shines. We got the Beach Cannon's Secret. So we don't even have to go to the amusement park for this one. We're just going to stay on the beach. And there's the cannon right there. Pretty easy. It's kind of like a, a weird, easy boss. Just kind of shoots things at you. You get really close to them. Actually, can I get... 
I don't think it's in this one, no. There's a blue coin. Well, I might as well get that. Come here. Yeah, come get me. Boom! Blue coin. I think one of these has a, a shine in it, or maybe that's another level or something, but might as well get the blue coins if I can. Doesn't take too, too long. Is there more way down there? Oh, come on, guys, really? Come see me. Come get me. You got this. Oh, so close. There we go. I kind of want to see if there's another... Because there's other baskets near the beginning level. Maybe you guys can follow me? Okay, you guys don't. But you do. Okay. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ooh, he's faster than I thought he'd be. The one right here? Yeah, there is. Well, going to wait until they start... Wow, he, he fly, they fly pretty fast. Or far, I mean. So this isn't too difficult. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> a few. Oh, man, gotta get them sometime, right? Might as well get them now. Or else I'm gonna forget about them. That's that's really difficult. Alright. Can you come all the way over here? Wow, it really does. They do fly far. So close. I don't know if they're gonna be able to... Do I have to lead one? Oh, 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 oh there we go. Perfect. I guess it just takes them uh, a second to, like, recalibrate or something. Oh my god, there's another one over here. Jeez. Well, this is going to be an annoying one here. Come on. Oh, over the wall! Over the wall! No, over the wall! Over the wall, over the wall, over the wall. Ooh, jeez, that one, like, flew by me. Oh my god. Maybe just a couple jumps. We'll do it. Ooh! They're coming fast. Okay, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! Oh, oh, how did that not count? Oh. Come on. You guys can do it. Alright, well, I'm going to hang around here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just get him to follow me. Because I was going to say, maybe I'll skip to the part where I finally do it. There we go, there we go. Come get me. And boom. Okay, cool. Alright, not too bad. I think there's one more. I think it was right here. Yeah, there we go. This will be pretty easy. Yay, come get me, guys. Whee! Awesome. Alright, let's actually go fight him. <laughs> so when you get a little bit closer, he stops firing these, like, bullet bill kind of guys. And he starts throwing, like, weird bombs. And it's so weird that the enemy designs are so different in this Mario game. Because now, like, that's what the bombs look like. Not weird. They look interesting, though. I like the idea of digital bombs. And, uh, basically just throw them. You don't even need to be that precise, it looks like. Pick you up. Get you. Oh, jeez, don't want you. No. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say, I'm exploding. Woo! Okay, calm down, Mario. Pick you up. And boom, there we go. And that is not the end of the level. That is not how easy the level is. It's, uh, what's inside the cannon. Ooh, very awkward in time, isn't that? Or maybe a little Wind Waker. <laughs> there we go. And we have another floodless area. This one's... Is this one hard? I don't remember. Oh, this one's fun. I like this one. I have a weird idea. The, uh, platforms will just pop and disappear. You just gotta time your stuff right. It's, it's neat. It's, it's a very interesting idea. But as they, like, darken, they disappear. So you just gotta be careful of where you're gonna be. Pretty cool. Oh, jeez. Nope. Ah, oh, well. That's okay. We're gonna die. Die. I love how I just... <laughs> looked like friggin' uh, Black Adam in that one shot, except at a different angle. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, jeez. I'm, like, right on there, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Oh, jeez. woo -hoo! Okay, yeah, I'm not I'm not good at this. Apparently. There we go. No. Oh. Ha! Okay, good. Now it gets a lot easier. Uh, I don't know what's over there, but we're not going to worry about over there because we want to go to the shine, which is... Whoops. Weird controls here. I'll zoom out a little bit, see where my shadow is. How speedrunners do this game so immaculately. It's like pretty much any Mario game. Watch a speedrun of Sunshine. It's it is pure art. It's so good. I messed that up. 
Uh, that's why this is here, it's just to make sure you don't die. You know what? The funny thing is, I was playing this earlier today just to see, like, what are the shines? What do I need to know? And I did this so easily. Oh, what's in here? We're wasting time today. Sorry. We're already 50 minutes in. <laughs> oh, I got a one-up at least. Alright. But yeah, I did this in, like, two seconds when I just did it for, like, like almost like a little test run. And now it's just, like, totally going, totally going badly. I'm so nervous, I guess, when I play with you guys. I just want you guys to like me so much. No. Come on, how am I missing that? He's got, like, a weird amount of inertia to him a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. This is not difficult. I just got to time it. One. Two. Three, four, and then you can pretty much just go. There we go. You have more than enough time, really. Like, I don't even need to hurry as much as I do. I'm gonna skip that one up. And pop. There we go. And done. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. And, uh, let's do one more in Peanut Park, I guess. Do we have the new area yet? No, there's no, um, little, uh, cinematic that shows you where to go next. I guess I, I really just need more, um, more shines. Plus, I should be finishing off some levels. Um, I think we'll probably go back to, um, Bianco Hills and kind of do the actual seven shines we need to do. Red Coins the Pirate Chips. Red Coin Challenge. This will probably take me a while. <laughs> Get to the park. Whee! So much fun. I do like enjoying Mario in like big open spaces because he just he is fast and fun. All right, so it's funny because it's, it's red coins of the pirate ships, but I think there's only like two or three red coins at the pirate ship. Oh, I saw that blue coin though. Ooh, how do I get that? Can I even do this? There we go. Oh, no! Get yeah. There we go. Just drop back down. There we go. Okay. Love this music. It's such a... It's such a like, carefree, happy song. Like, I would genuinely have a good time at a little amusement park if this was the song. I am skipped the red toy. Sorry about that cut. Uh, something came up and I needed to stop the recording. And then I was like, I don't remember where I left off. So I had to actually rewatch the... Oh, wow, that went like all the way around, didn't it? I had to rewatch the recording to see kind of where I left off. And I was after I got that blue coin, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fell right through the ship. You guys saw that. That wasn't me. That was that was the, the game. <laughs> it was very odd. All right, let's wait till it goes back because I want to get on the other boat now. Just got the one that was there. Ooh, jeez, unreal. This is not safe. The kids, they'll be hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'm not making that. That's okay. Well, there we go. We'll have to get that one in a second. Let's keep looking around. Is that a blue coin right there? Oh, it's like a pipe. Okay. Instead, we'll just kind of make our way up here. Get the rest of them, I guess. Kill up our water, too, because that's always something we need. Ooh, I see a blue coin right there, though. I see a blue coin. Camera, work with me, please. Yeah, there we go. Land it right on that. Uh, maybe I should go up a little bit higher? Can I even go up a little higher? No, I can't. It's weird. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just go right here instead. Oh, get you from below. Get this. I think there's a red coin right here, isn't there? Boink. And, oh, there it is. And boink. Oh, there's three. There we go. Anything up here? Oh, okay. I think that's where the, the um... I think that's where the, uh, the, the shine actually ends up being. So I'll get that one last. So we know the whereabouts of five of them, basically. Let go. Thank you. No, let go. And jump down. Jump down again. Oh, no, no. Actually, I don't want that. Do I? No, I don't. So I've got to get you guys from the top. There we go. And hit you. And hit you. I love the idea of just smacking them down from the top of the crate. That's just funny. And again, it's just it's very reminiscent of Mario World back in the day. So, Cool callback. I like it. I approve. Now, can I do anything from here? Okay, well, there's the, there's the coin right there, so... Maybe I'll just go for it. 
Oh, wow, I got it. I did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. Okay, well, that's cool. That's five. I know of at least one more, which is the one near the very end there. Um. Oh. What can we up here? Okay. Oh, no, I missed that completely. Sorry about that. Is there an easier way to get on top of these things, or is this like the only way? It's the way I always do it. You're really used to just traversing a certain way in some Mario games. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can just reach it from here. I don't know. Climb back up, Mario. Back up. Thank you. That's pretty far, though. Uh... Oh, nice. Okay, that actually worked out. Okay, that's good. How do I get the bottom one, though? Oh, oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there's a blue coin way up there. Jeez. I don't even know how to get that one. I got this one, at least. It's better than nothing. Let go. Thank you. And... No, let go. Let me out. Let me out. I don't like being caged. Perfect. And... Oh, no. Over on the top. Over the top. Over the top, buddy. There we go. And last one. Alright, not too bad. Oh, there's blue... Jeez, the blue coin right there. Yeah, so the shine was right there. Okay, perfect. Um... I'm not sure where we are in time right now, because I messed up my time because of that cut. Um, but we'll go for one more, I guess. We'll go for a really quick one. Really quick one. We'll go back to Bianco Hills. Start making our way through, uh, making our way downtown. No, <laughs> making our way through that part. Okay, still no cinematic there. That's fine. Go to that island later, too. Um, all right. Oops, ouch. Oh, hi, Toadsworth. What are you doing here? Well, you're probably just like, oh, there's a kidnap princess. Oh, no. So... So I'm gonna get one of the first secret shines, actually. So, obviously, this is World 1. You remember where it is? You can see um, over here we have the EGAD boxes. Once you hit a certain threshold, you can get any of them right there, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we can't right now. We can only have just the regular flood. Anyways, I'm gonna specifically choose, I believe it's episode 3. It's the secret cave. Where is it? Uh, Hillside Cave Secret. And you guys remember that where that was? Let's show right there. Uh, it takes a while to kind of get there, so I'm just going to jump right into that place, and I'll be right back, guys. So we're back in the uh, secret area. And uh, once you get the first shine in these secret areas, there's always a big red button, and you get to keep Flood. And hitting the button makes eight red coins appear, because, you know, nothing funner than another eight red coin challenge with a timer, and you will die, I'm pretty sure, if the timer goes out, so you gotta be careful, but you also have to be really quick, so it's, like, fairly difficult. Um, these are some of the hardest shines in the game, just because they they make an already sort of hard idea for a level harder, uh, and the time is pretty strict. Like, this isn't a small amount of time here. I've only got 30 seconds left, and one of those things right here. Come on, Phil. Okay. Back across. I don't even know I'm gonna make this. I did. 20 seconds. Jeez. That's pushing it, man. But thankfully, once you get the last red coin, uh, it does stop the timer. I had about 12 seconds left, so that's not, <coughs> not too, too bad, but you still gotta get. Still gotta get it. So be very careful here. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to make that jump, actually. Okay. Thank goodness. Again, you have Flood. So it's a little bit easier. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, I think we'll stay in Bianco Hills for next time. And we'll finish off at least up until the um, the uh, Shine 7, which is kind of when you basically complete the level. Not 100%, but it's basically considered complete. Anyways, guys, with that, I'm filling the blanks. See you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.